Hiya, this is Joe at Gotcha Ghost, and we're going to do a quick tutorial about how to use the Connect system. Uh, as you can see, we're in the Connect window now. Hello. It might have just been picking up on my elephants there. That, that can happen sometimes, but you never know. So anyway, uh, as you can hear, the microphones are turned on and we've got our little recording uh, icon down here I'm using the A-Powersoft screen recorder which comes with your Kinect system so this is what you'll see however my resolution is not that great just because of the the system that I'm using uh, Windows 7 and uh, using quite a large screen so it might not look as good as yours does hopefully you can see this though so you've got your main screen here and then you've got your little screen over here uh, this little screen is in a depth mode. Uh, the different color variations are because of the different uh, distances that things are from each other. However, it's not going to tell you what those distances are. It's just going to give you some textures and that sort of thing. Um, if you go over here to Color Stream, you'll be able to hover over Resolution and go down to Infrared. Click that and you'll go into Infrared mode. Now this is the Structured Light that uh, the SLS stands for. Uh, uh, there's uh, infrared light scattered around the room and you'll be able to see things that are close up or in the distance skeletally mapping. I'll, I'll go over there even though I'm a little camera shy I'll still uh, go over and see if it'll pick me up uh, in the dark even though you can't see anything real that you know in, in a really uh, good uh, light you can still see if somebody happens to come by and uh, do their thing <coughs> you can also use extra infrared lights if you want to um, I'm more concerned about picking up on things than just uh, being able to see like this but you know the choice is yours okay let's go ahead and go back over to color stream resolution and I'll click on the first uh, selection which is our RGB resolution and uh, let's see did we go over to views if you go to views and click switch you can uh, switch your windows here so now I've got my regular picture up here and I've got my depth picture here if you move uh, the camera around you'll be able to see that things are at different distances and that sort of thing via color. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about all of the, the applications of this particular uh, program, but you'll still be able to pick up skeletal mode, which is what a lot of uh, what we're looking for in the, uh, in the uh, whole Connect system. Depth stream and skeletal stream, I leave these alone uh, simply because they're, they're set on defaults and I really don't want to <coughs> do anything uh, else to them. Uh, most of it is for the game, the Connect game, and we don't really have a reason to be messing with those. But you're welcome to experiment. You've got to show your whole body in order for the skeletal mapping to take place. So. Some folks ask me, uh, well, I can't get the skeletal mapping to uh, to work. Well, that's because you're sitting down and that's not how it works. You need to show your whole body. Unless, of course, you go to the skeletal stream and <coughs> choose the seated tracking mode. But that's, that's something else altogether. Okay, to the right side of the screen, we have these uh, little settings here. Audios uh, telling you which angles the audio is coming from from the uh, connect sensor microphones I'm not sure how to use that information <clears throat> the accelerometer uh, that's for the game as well and for developing software and that sort of thing for the connect system sensor settings this is mostly for the angle of the sensor if we go like that we'll <laughs> the, the sensor as you heard the motor will tilt it up and this will tilt it downwards but your sensor is connected to a bracket and it's glued down pretty well so there's no uh, reason to be using this here. Um, the first set of the Kinect cameras that I made weren't glued down and they're 
a little floppy and that was so that you could still use this uh, motor however I decided in the end to go ahead and secure it and just leave it uh, centered out like that uh, over here you'll see some arrows and this will click you over to another tab that is recording mode now this recording mode has nothing to do with your screen recorder it has to do with recording uh, whatever you're doing with the Kinect system I don't recommend using this at all simply because it um, it it takes a lot of data uh, and a lot of information and will very quickly fill up your memory uh, because it's not just recording video like our screen recorder is it's recording uh, the actual information coming from these windows and we don't really want to mess with that so you don't you don't need to be in there for any uh, any reason so there you go. Oh, I've been asked about these numbers more than once. And uh, i got to tell you, I'm really not sure what they're for. I learned it somewhere at some point what they were and discarded it simply because it's not something that we, we need to be concerned about. And now I've just forgotten altogether what it is. So anyway, but it, from what I can remember, it was nothing we needed to be concerned about or worried about. So... There you go, don't worry about it. Hopefully this tutorial helps. Uh, the whole point now is just to take your connect sensor with your tablet and walk around and hopefully be able to capture someone or something. Uh, this is just my little private office and it's not too interesting, but um, I do get little, little figures come in here sometimes when I'm just sitting here and they come to visit, probably because of the nature of the work that goes on in here. Other than that, hopefully that helps. And if you got any questions, give me an email at info at gotcha ghost. And my name is Joe Campbell. Thanks very much for watching.